is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is my XSR 700 2019 version. Today, I'm going to be talking about the modifications I've done on the bike thus far. So as with any modification video, you always start with the exhaust. This is my Leo Vence Evo 1 exhaust. The exhaust that comes stock on this motorcycle is just an absolute travesty. It sounds like a, a, a little tiny little kitty cat. It does the bike no justice because this is a parallel twin. It sounds freaking amazing with this pipe. And with any pipe, the engine just itself, it sounds so good. So definitely that is the first thing you need to do. And the bike is just gonna sound incredible. Let's see, uh, and this is my gauge relocation kit. I actually did a video on that um, already. And that, I'll put that up on the screen right now. This is from Brogue Motorcycles out in Arizona. Basically the gauge used to be, uh, the cluster used to be right here and it moves it up. For me as a taller rider, always looking down at it, it was, I don't know, it's very hard to see. So that definitely needed to be done. So then I could talk about the mirrors on this bad boy. Uh, the mirrors, they look like CRG, the famous CRG lane splitter mirrors, but uh, no, they are a uh, Chinese copy I got on Amazon. Yo, these actually work fantastic. I honestly don't understand why anyone pays. Uh oh, uh oh. Later. <laughs> Later. Sorry about that. That's my buddy. Uh, so, um, what was I talking about? Mirrors. Yes. Yo, why anyone pays 70, what is it? 75, 79, almost let's call it $80 per mirror, per mirror. It, that's just, yeah. So these are just, uh, Amazon special mirrors and they're $19. Trust me. Don't pay so much money for mirrors. These are actually really great. Basically 20 bucks for two mirrors. Incredible. Now these bar ends, these are actually from Rhino. Rhino makes uh, specific bar ends, which allows you the space to actually get the uh, the bar end mirrors on there um, without uh, any kind of issues with the throttle. Um, and on this side, just mirrors the other. And these Rhino bar ends, they actually double as uh, crash protection as well. And I don't know if this is a modification per se, but uh, this is a quad block uh, phone mounting. Uh, apparatus <laughs> and uh, quad lock is the absolute best when it comes to uh, their phone mounts let's see another Amazon purchase were uh, my new clutch lever and brake lever uh, these are just uh, Amazon <laughs> but they're very high quality uh, you know I really can't complain about them I just actually put them on and they look great they work great and they feel great so uh, you know can't complain about those Let's see, another first modification that everyone does is their tail delete. I did not delete the entire tail. There are some tidies that completely cut off all of this and everything else. I went with the Evotech uh, tail tidy. I like this light. I didn't want to get rid of it, you know? I like the little kind of cute little light there. Definitely ordered the last one that uh, was available on Revzilla. I just bought it up and, and called it a day. Now the only downside to this uh, this kit setup is that these are made for, for British uh, license plates. And I actually had to drill a hole in my license plate to get that done. And then of course I had to uh, change out the, uh, the stock churn signals. The stock churn signals on this thing, they're the, the old floppy ones. I mean, those things are just god awful ugly. So um, from TST Industries, uh, from their website, I ordered these uh, these little bullet um, uh, LED turn signals. Super low profile. You know, they don't get in the way of anything, and they're definitely not ugly. Thank God they're not ugly. And there are definitely some other modifications that I have coming down the pike. This bucket, I'm actually going to be replacing it with an XSR 900 bucket. It's just going to shorten this uh, front end up nice and pretty like. And I'm planning on doing a tank wrap. I kind of want to black out everything. I would really like to, uh, to black out everything and just maybe put a, a yellow Yamaha insignia there. I mean, my name is Moto Noir. I should have a black bike, right? All right, let's get the bike back inside. All 
all right guys that is it I want to thank everyone for watching and i'll see you on the next one boom it's a wrap <laughs>